Ukraine is in the process of agreeing terms with Turkey on a free trade zone, according to the Eastern European nation's Deputy Minister for Economic Development. A wide range of areas of cooperation were reportedly discussed at a meeting between delegations of the two nations, everything from metal and grain exports to joint television productions. Negotiations over the free trade area are scheduled to continue at the beginning of next year in Turkey. The uptick in relations between Kiev and Ankara comes in the wake of a freeze in ties between Russia and Turkey. The Kremlin was enraged when one of its fighter jets was shot down by Turkish forces near the Syrian-Turkish border on November 24th. Since then, Ankara and Moscow have cancelled visa-free travel amid an escalating diplomatic row. Turkey maintains that it did nothing wrong. Our country did not adopt a provocative stance against the Russian military. We have been acting very carefully to allay the tensions that have been escalating since November 24th. Russia's military elements have been acting for some time as if there is a perceived threat from Turkey, which is an exaggerated situation and has nothing to do with reality. Our stance against Russia is clear. A Russian jet was downed because it violated Turkish airspace. We had warned Russia previously. Ties have been further strained by policy toward the civil war in Syria. Russia has backed the country's embattled president Bashar al-Assad, whilst Turkey wants him gone. Russia began conducting airstrikes in Syria at the end of September. It said it was targeting terror group Islamic State, but in fact, many of its strikes have been directed at rebel forces battling the Assad regime.